Gonzaga had, wait, had to wait to celebrate its Sweet 16 when their game last weekend in Portland got postponed because of bad weather. But tonight, their drive to perfection continued with a chance to net their 16th win of the season. Sam Adams picks it up from there in the Fastener Sports Studio. Sam? Yeah, only one team in America right now can say it is undefeated in Division I men's basketball. Tonight, Gonzaga put that perfect 15-0 record on the line against a loyal of Marymount team that had lost seven games, but five of those had come by six points or less. Let's take you to the kennel for a by crowd two, two. in the kennel, I guess we'd call it. Uh, GU leading by three midway through the first half. Shimon Karnowski, you have to take a second look here as he kind of throws one up off the glass. And Jordan Matthews there with a finish. The accidental assist, perhaps. Zags up by five. And then Karnowski, more, uh, I guess, traditional scoring there as Karnowski scores 11 first half points. He finishes the night with 17. Zags go up 29 to 24. Then off a missed free throw, there is Josh Perkins, the easy pickings for three from the wing. Gonzaga out to a seven point lead, but let's not forget about Jonathan Williams the third. And they call him J3 for good reason. Up top for three, 46-35. Bulldogs by just 11 at halftime. And when I say just 11, you'll see why. As Gonzaga pulls away in the second half, Matthews on the drive, bucket and the foul. Suddenly, that lead swells to 18. The Lions running out of gas down the stretch. Rui Hachimura comes in, gets the steal, and showing some NBA flash there as he puts the finishing touches on this one. Gonzaga rolls to the victory, 93-55. to 55. Again, Karnowski leading the Zags with 17 points. Six players for GU in double figures. With more, we send it to Greg Heister. And welcome back to the McCarthy Athletic Center. Gonzaga now 16-0, and the only remaining unbeaten team in college basketball. It's an amazing fact. Gonzaga, fifth-ranked team in the country. A chance for Loyola Marymount tonight to hand them their first loss, and they can't get it done. Gonzaga really shut them down offensively. They couldn't score, and the Zags go on to win it by 38 points with six players into double figures. Let's go into the locker room. I thought our defense, defensive effort was better in the second half. Uh, we won, uh, we won the uh, rebounding battles. So that was a huge issue for us uh, in the previous games. Uh, I'm just happy about, uh, you know, our effort, our energy. Uh, I thought we came out in the second half more aggressive, and I thought that would give us an edge to win this game. In the second half, played great defense. Uh, played great offense, took care of the ball, and, and got it to the right spots, and, and uh, had some guys really uh, step up and play well. Gonzaga now perfect 16-0, and the season rolls on, and dun-dun-dun. The big showdown with St. Mary's here at the McCarthy Athletic Center on Saturday. You don't want to miss that one. That's going to be a dandy. That'll do it for now. Let's go back to you. We're here at the McCarthy Athletic Center.